Hey guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create this particle stroke animation with Trap Code Particular in After Effects. And uh, you can use this as some kind of a uh, revealing effect for your text, but uh, you can probably just use it on its own and uh, it would look pretty cool anyway. Okay, so let's take a look at how we build this. I'm going to create a new comp, call it main02, 960 by 540. Uh, maybe let's make that uh, half HD, so 1280 by 720. Oops. Uh, 24 FPS and 5 seconds duration. Okay, and I'm just going to create a new text layer and just type out the word stroke. And uh, I can increase the size, maybe just bring it down. And uh, the first step is to outline these uh, letters. You need to create some outlines with a mask. So you can go to the pen tool and start outlining. Just make sure you're on the layer before you start drawing this. And uh, you can just go around each letter individually and uh, draw a mask around each one. But um, I won't be using this method simply because it uh, takes a while. I'm going to be using a faster method, which, um, you know, although it's faster, I would not recommend you use this method for a final project. Uh, this is merely just for the sake of the tutorial. If I go to layer, I can go to auto trace and the default settings should be fine and I'm going to hit OK and I get uh, masks drawn here automatically for me and uh, although it's really fast as you can see you know just a couple of clicks these masks are not very clean there's a lot of redundant points and some areas are just uh, not straight at all so this is good for demonstrating this effect but I would not recommend you do this for an actual project anyway when you have all your letters uh, traced you um, want to load up the trap code particular plugin so go to a new solid and uh, just call this uh, maybe particular or particles and let's go to effect trap code particular and uh, we'll just get some particles being emitted from the center of the screen. Okay, so we want this to travel along those outlines we have just created. And uh, this is a two-part process. First, we need to create uh, a light. Let's call this a emitter. And uh, it's important that it's called a emitter. And hit OK. And uh, we can attach the particles to the light. So if I go to the particle settings inside the emitter section, I can set the emitter type to light. So now wherever the light goes, the particles will follow. Now we can attach this light to any one of these um, uh, outlines that we created with masks. So let me just uh, shut off the um, original text layer and uh, also this auto trace layer, but it's it still has all the masks on it, but we just can't see um, any of that white. So how do we attach the light to any of these mask paths? Well, if we hit M to bring up the masks, let me click on this S here so I can see that it's mask number three. If I uh, click on mask path, I can edit, copy, go to the emitter light, press P to bring up the position, go to frame zero, click on the word position and then edit and paste. And what this does is convert the mask path into a motion path and automatically animates the light around. And uh, by default, this is always mapped out to two seconds. And uh, you can, uh, pull this out to maybe like three seconds if you want just to bring this one back 
And uh, if I hit play, you can see that our emitter is traveling around that outline, but we can't really see that stroke effect yet. So if we go to the particle settings, we can um, change the velocity to zero, velocity from motion to zero, and then emitter size x, y, and z, zero, zero, and zero. So now we have that stroke effect going on, but we need to refine this. So if we go to the particle settings, we can set the size to two, go to the emitter settings and maybe have 250 particles per second just to fill in those gaps. I'm gonna make the life in seconds to be 1.5. And uh, you can see uh, we have another problem. If we take a look at the shape of the S, look at the path that the, ma that, that, that the particles have traveled along, but then take a look at the mask. It's not following precisely. You get corners in some areas where it should be a nice curve. So to fix this, we'll need to go to the emitter settings in our particle uh, layer and then go to this control here called position subframe. And we need to set this to 10x linear. And uh, this will make your particles better conform to your path. And that looks good. Uh, we can further refine this even more uh, if we go to the particle settings Opacity over life we can Maybe use this linear graph so they start out 100% opacity and just constantly fade out to zero and We can do the same with the size of a life and that gives you a nice outline effect so that would be it for one letter. You basically need to repeat the process to get uh, this effect for all the letters. So for example, if I want to get the T, I click on the mask here just to see which one it is in my um, layer. Oops, let's uh, bring it back up again. And it's mask number one. So I need to copy the mask path. So edit, copy. And I can duplicate the slide, go to P uh, to bring up the position. Let's remove these keyframes. And I can just uh, click the word position, edit, and paste. And now, if I uh, just hide everything here, you can now see that I have the same effect on the T. Particular basically instanced all those settings and put them onto that light. And uh, this will only work if your light is called a mirror something uh, so just make sure that uh, you do it like that okay so I'm gonna skip the video to when I have finished the rest of the letters and then we'll carry on adding some uh, other effects Okay, so I have just finished the rest of the letters and this is the result. I reversed some of the keyframes and I changed the timing so it's more random. And I also used an easy ease keyframe interpolation on all the keyframes. Okay, so how do we make this look a little better? Well, a really nice effect that goes with this is if you create a new solid and call this one Lux go to effect track code lux and by the way all of this can be found from the red giant website uh, as demos so you should definitely check them out anyway let's um, lower the intensity to 35 so now at the end of each uh, particle trail you have this glow light and I think that looks really cool Okay, so I'm actually going to use this effect to reveal my text. If you remember, we created some text at the beginning, and it's still there. So if I fade the text in from, let's say, uh, two seconds, so let's put the opacity to zero here, and at three seconds, let's uh, bring it to 100%. So this is going to happen, and this will just fade in. Let's see how this looks. 
Okay, that looks okay, but I don't like how how abruptly that comes in. So I'm gonna maybe use an Easy Ease uh, keyframe to bring this in. So a key from Assistant and Easy Ease. Just gonna fade in a little slower. You can maybe adjust that with a graph even more. And uh, let's take a look. Okay, I think that looks a little better. Um, let's say also fade the particles and lux at the beginning here. So if we set the opacity to zero to start off with, and then half a second, we can put the opacity to 100, move forward in time. And as my text starts to fade in, I need to fade this out. So now let's uh, take another look. Okay, I think that's a really nice, elegant way of uh, revealing your text, your logo, whatever you have. Just repeat the process and you should end up with something that looks pretty cool. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.